in, in, in an opportunistic conflict with Iran during a global pandemic. Uh, so amidst COVID-19, amidst economic sanctions, the United States is still engaging in a proxy war with Iran. That is f for fucking sure. <laughs> they are still bombing in Iraq and Iran. Uh, American and Iranian citizens are now being killed. Um, and if there was any time that we needed proof that uh, America has a war economy that is fueled further by the debt economy and that these two, these two versions of the economy work in tandem with each other, that's it right there. You have a country um, that is struggling, that can't get medical help, uh, can't get the supplies that it needs, can't, can't do what it needs to do in order to take care of its citizens during a global pandemic, and you refuse to lift your economic sanctions as an act of economic war against them, um, and you continue bombing them, which means a portion of the money that we are spending right now taxpayer dollars uh, because your taxes go into the military they go into funding the military and militaristic operations um, they are being funded to bomb a country that's struggling to deal with a global pandemic because of our sanctions how fucking obsessed with with death and destruction do you need to be in order to do this right like how fucking crazy is it that you're just like well here's an opportunity our sanctions mean that their uh that their economy is weak and they're not being able to take care of their citizens let's engage them in a proxy war and see what they do and if they and if and if they lose great but if they fight back that means their citizens die which is also great because then it makes their leadership look shitty it makes their leadership look like they don't know what the fuck they're doing so you're you're pinning them in or between a rock and a hard place and and you're and and the and you're sitting there claiming, well, we're the good guys. We're the good guys in this situation. Fuck off. No, you're not. <laughs> Regardless of what you're doing, your active decisions are killing people in a different country. Your economic sanctions are killing people because they can't get medical supplies and they were struggling to begin with, and now your fucking proxy wars are killing people too. So on two fronts, you've taken an opportunity during a global pandemic to fucking accost and try to annihilate a group of people and commit genocide in a whole fun new fashion. Militarism during a pandemic is uh, quite possibly the dumbest motherfucking idea that you could ever come up with. There should be a global treaty put into place uh, immediately to say all military actions must cease. Um, all military personnel have to shift and and uh, run humanitarian aids. I mean, and really, the United States would have to take the bulk of that because we have a thousand military bases across the globe. Um, so that means that we can provide humanitarian aid through our military. Um, humanitarian aid via the military so shift the focus of the military from being a bunch of killers to being people that utilize skills uh that they have learned through through learning these skills you know through military and stuff like that through through the classes that they have to take and actually being a force of good and not a force of mutual destruction that's what needs to happen with this military. The less it does, the more more all this is is a is is proof that we have a hyper obsessive American war economy f and and with with working with this bullshit economic stimulus that they want to give us, it it just funnels into an American debt economy. We are further in debt because we need to funnel, we need to prop up this, this war economy. To do what? Commit another fucking genocide in a country that doesn't need it during a global pandemic? To, to flex our nuts during a global pandemic? Nobody cares.
nobody fucking cares. Nobody cares how great your military is right now. You know what we do care about? How good is your healthcare system? How good is your sense of compassion? How, how good are you with, with planning and allocating resources properly? And based on what I've seen, uh, America is not so great. <laughs> if we actually learned resource allocation as like a skill in school, people wouldn't be hoarding toilet paper. People wouldn't have tried to clear off shelves in grocery stores. We wouldn't be taking our bombs and, and blowing up fucking bases in Iraq and Iran. This, I mean, global pandemics should absolutely 100% mean a, a, a worldwide treaty, a worldwide ceasefire all over the place. If you, your war economy won't fucking matter if you don't have an economy to protect. What freedoms do we have when we're all quarantined in our house? What are you trying to protect right now? What are they, what, what, is, what, is, what is the country of Iran trying to even do other than just help its own people? And you won't let them. American militarism is, is, is an opportunistic virus. That's what it is. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be making daily videos. So make sure you come back to this channel. Make sure that you are subscribed. You hit that bell so you're getting the notifications uh, because we are going to be putting up videos every single day, uh, keeping you guys updated on what's going on around the world, keeping our critical thinking skills uh, up to date as well, uh, talking about some interesting ideas, talking about some topics that you won't hear on your corporate mainstream outlets. Uh, I'm also a touring stand-up comedian, uh, but uh, at the moment, I don't have any live stand-up comedy dates to tell you guys about. So uh, if you have the means to and would like to, to, to donate to this channel, to donate to uh, creating videos to improve the quality and quantity of these videos, feel free by, uh, by going to ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate that's r-a-m-a-n noodlescomedy.com slash donate there you will find various different ways that you can either become a sustaining member uh, via those big orange buttons patreon bandcamp and even paypal uh, or by just making a one-time donation uh, via the aforementioned paypal venmo cash app uh, whatever you feel most comfortable doing and that's if you have the means to do it i understand that we're all struggling through this time uh, so all of these videos are going to be available for free and like i said will be up every single day and a huge way that you can help uh is by sharing these out uh hit it hit it up on your social feeds on on the on the twitters and the and the alternative social feeds and the instagrams and the facebooks just share it around tell it tell as many people as you possibly can uh, especially if you enjoy uh, the topics that we are discussing on this channel and once again make sure that you are subscribed you hit that like button um, and get uh, get new eyes on this channel thank you guys so much uh, I, I, and everybody that's already become a sustaining member or a patron um, or has donated uh, thank you so much. It really, really means a lot, and it helps. Every little tiny bit helps in uh, in in in, the, in this time of of need. So uh, be good to each other. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you tomorrow with new videos.